Hearts are heavy in Alexandria today as our community has lost a truly one-of-a-kind figure. Les Witt was the director of the Alexandria Zoo. He passed away Saturday morning <coughs> excuse me, at Oshner Medical Center in New Orleans. Les was in some ways a medical miracle, having had a heart transplant more than 14 years ago. His passions in life included three main areas. His family, as he survived by his wife Leanne, who was the education curator at the zoo, and his daughters Sarah and Hannah. He's all, he also loved music, having had a chance to play with some of the greats like B.B. King. But more than anything, Les is known for his incredible work at building the zoo into what it is today. Now, the Indian Mayor Jock Roy released a statement Saturday saying, in addition to losing the indispensable leader of the city's most recognized quality of life institution, artists and musicians have lost a true friend and a fellow professional, as did organ donor advocates as well. Now, Les was 56. His funeral is scheduled for Wednesday at 10 a.m. at the Alexandria Riverfront Center with Reverend William Huddleston officiating. Visitation will be from 4 to 9 p.m. Tuesday night, also at the Riverfront Center, and he'll be buried in Natchez, Mississippi. The family asks any donations to be made at any of the local Red River banks. The death of Les Witt is hitting hard at the Alexandria Zoo, where staff members came together yesterday to comfort each other and to remember a man who has had so much impact on all of their lives as they shared with us some of their favorite memories. He was a great personality. You can think about him now and still smile and laugh about the things that he did, you know. And one thing about him, he never cared who you were. He didn't care your color. He didn't care anything, handicaps, anything. It was always content of heart. He really loved this place, and you could tell that in everything he did. And he cared about every single person here as if they were family. I think he found a lot in everybody else, but they had their special thing that they could do, and everybody's got their special quirk, and he's kind of the person that would just jump right in and expected everybody else to follow behind him. I was one of these kids from out in that neighborhood that, you know, there was a whole lot of negative things going on, and the same friends that I have at that time, I had at that time, they're not here now. They're out in jail, they're in trouble, they're dead. And he took me out of that, and he showed me something new, and he gave me a chance to be who I was, no matter how hard it was for me to get to that point. He helped me get there. He always believed in me and told me, never forget about what I'm doing. We got a call to go get an alligator that was in was a ditch on in the Bolton. And we got there, and it was inside the little cobra underneath the driveway. And he had his hand around the alligator and started to pull him back in. When I was reaching out to grab the alligator on accident, I punched him in the face. And he goes, why'd you punch me in the face? And I'm freaking out because I just punched my boss in the face trying to grab this alligator. But I ended up being okay because I got a hold of the alligator. So it's a funny story afterwards. But at the time, I was just worried. I just punched my boss in the face. But it's easy afterwards. But he's the same guy. It's a sense of humor. He'll pick on you forever about it. He will you punched me in the face. I don't think I didn't forget that. And that's just how he was. He'd make you laugh even in a situation like that. There's a gentleman in the zoo that I'll usually whistle at, and for some reason, every time I whistle at that guy, Mr. Les would walk by and believe it was him I was whistling at, so he kind of got dedicated when he'd walk by and see me standing at the other end of that whistle. And so I had to explain it to Miss Leanne quite a few times. I just want to tell Miss Leanne and his daughters that he's going to be missed. Everyone here feels for him, and we love them all. And I just want to tell anybody that never met him that I'm really sad they never met him. He's a great man. I just like everybody to know that there's a lot of things that I understand Mr. Les has put his heart and soul into here to zoo and isn't quite finished, and we would like to see that job be completed. And on a personal note of remembrance, all of us who work here at News Channel 5 will miss Les Witt. <clears throat> there's no other way to say it. He was a great guy and a one-of-a-kind character. We all have our favorite Les Witt stories, but here are a couple of moments over the last few years which really stand out. Well, it's a menagerie carousel. It's got a pig and a rabbit and uh, several uh, other uh, animals like uh, a dog, a pig. and So it's, it's a lot more fun to ride than, than just a regular carousel. Mm -hmm. And we all... Oh, my God! Okay, I'm terrified of reptiles, so... As you can see, this is a huge shocker. I'm the wrong person to be sending to the zoo. No, 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 no. You're a good person. Oh, no. No, 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 no. No. You go ahead, Les. You tell us more about this reptile here. Yeah. This is, uh, <laughs> this is Monty. He's our surprise python for the day. Yeah. 
uh, we kind of look at him like a big Christmas ribbon. Sure. And, uh, yeah, you wear that. <laughs> uh, Monty's been with us about uh, 10 years. And, of course, if you come out at night, you can not see uh, Monty as you go through our education building. Uh, That's a way to set up Les Wood, who's here from the Alligator Zoo. He's brought a little friend with him. All right, Nick asked if it was an alligator or a crocodile. You said neither. Well, I said neither, but I was just kind of throwing him off. <laughs> this is actually a Chinese alligator. Uh -huh. There's only a... About 1,500 of these guys left in the wild. Uh, they live on the uh, Yangtze's River in China, and uh, of course that river has been changing over the last uh, decade because of uh, uh, navigation. They've been damming it up and building locks, and uh, these are uh, very interesting as far as the way they're they're different from a regular alligator. Their snout's a lot shorter. Mm -hmm. They have to get over five or six feet. And you know, I was looking at it earlier. Well, and, and it really looks like a, a baby Godzilla, you know, like it's, it's like, <laughs> when you get a little guy like this, and you put it up there, you know, uh, but uh, we had a lot of fun at the zoo. How do you remember a man like Les Witt? Well, you celebrate how he lived and the legacy he left behind, and there's no better way to do that than to visit the zoo for him, his lifetime achievement. His memory will be honored every time a family, a couple, or anyone else walks through those gates. And while we're on the subject of remembering, remembering him, here is a first suggestion that the city move quickly to rename the zoo the Les Witt Alexandria Zoo. I can think of no better tribute. 